In my last video, I made some uh, axle pins uh, using the router table. So I thought I'd try it with the CNC. Uh, they come out a lot nicer than they did on the router table. And I'm going to talk a little bit here about these bits here. These rotozip bits. They're uh, high speed steel. Three flute. So they're stronger than the two flute kind. And they cut nicer. Uh, and now we'll uh, get on with the build. I uh, picked me up some of these roto zip bits. Uh, they're standard drywall cutting bits. And uh, when you get them, they got about a 120 degree inclusive angle on the tip. So the first thing that I do is I grind that off, make it flat on the end. You notice these are three flute. Makes them stronger than the uh, two flute ones. Now these are only high speed steel, they're not carbide. So you do have to treat them with some care. But for uh, 12 bucks for eight of these, can't beat the price. All right, I got a scrap piece of three quarter pine here, and I cut off about an inch and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is set up the vise on my CNC. I'm going to put it in the vise, but I'm going to put it in with the end grain up. Now I've uh, set up the vise on my CNC, put the block in there with the end grain facing up. Uh, I've got the bit in there, uh, set my X and Y and Z, touched it off, and now I'm ready to start cutting. Okay, now here's a shot of it completed. I got three pins in there. And you'd notice by the uh, computer graphic, what it does is it cuts the uh, 225 thousandths inner 
diameter down one inch and then it comes up and it cuts a 375 diameter down an inch 200 so and then that, that holds the pins in there until I can uh, take it over to the table saw and trim off the bottom edge now here's another view of what we've got here from the side you can see the uh, the two diameters there. Now all I have to do is uh, trim this off here with a table saw, and that should free those pins up. Okay, now I've set up my rip fence here to cut this uh, back part here off. And as I do that, the pin should just fall out. fall right out they look real good try it with the wheel good enough Alright, then all I need to do is uh, take my sandpaper here and put a little chamfer around it. And they'll be good to go. Looks good. As far as these bits, I really like these bits. They're your standard roto zip bits. Uh, the original ones that uh, they claim is only good for a drywall. And they work just fine in the CNC. Like I say, you can't really push them that hard because they're not carbide, they're high speed steel. But these babies are sharp. And not only that, they're made by Bosch. So you know that uh, it's a good quality bit. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.